friends, it's Angel, and today I have for you another thrift haul. I have two giant bags to show you. First, ugh, this one is full of clothes, and this one is full of home decor and kitchen stuff. Oh. I've actually been waiting to show you guys this stuff for a while now. At the time of filming this, I think I've had these for like two weeks. All these finds I found in one single day, which usually isn't the case. Usually I have to save things up for videos, but I just had a crazy lucky day. I actually vlogged it. Oh, it was the one where I found all the cute camis and slips and I was flipping through them so yeah that day was just super lucky i found so many cute pastel pieces lots of coquette dolly things also lots of granny things which i love and i found so much goosey home decor i am so excited to show you per the usual i'll let you know what is going on my shop and what i am keeping for myself I'll do a little try on at the end and that usually helps me determine what I am keeping and the rest will be listed on my shop gingham underscore goose on Depop, Poshmark, and Macari. Link in the description if you are interested. So that's enough rambling, let's get into the haul. First I think we're gonna start with the home decor. So first we have this amazing ceramic cat. <laughs> it is quite huge. <laughs> I have no clue where I am putting this. I'm kind of thinking of putting him on the porch if it doesn't freak out the stray cats around my apartment. But I picked it up because it looks like Toby. So orange and white and sleepy and fluffy. I guess I am really embracing the crazy cat lady aesthetic. <laughs> Next a mini frying pan. I usually don't find any good frying pans at Goodwill. Usually they're very scratched up, but this one is in great condition. I usually buy my pots and pans from Ross, but the prices have just been crazy lately. So luckily we found this guy. I think it'll be good for cooking up little omelets. Next we have some strawberry stuff. First we have this mini ramekin. I have quite a few of these and this one was only a dollar, but he is cracked. I did not notice it. You can kind of see better on the bottom, but yeah, so this one is going to have to be purely decorative and not used. Next we have all these strawberry. They're little tins. Only one of them has a lid, but there are four of them in different sizes. These two are a bit beat up. But this is such a cute set. Though I must say I am a little guilty of this purchase because when I was checking out the cashier said oh I was hoping no one would buy those because I was gonna buy them. I was like oh oh no I'm so sorry. She's like oh it's fine. It's, but it, I don't know. Now I just feel bad though. Even though I love them and I'm gonna get a lot of use out of them. Now onto the goosey things. First we have this massive cutting board with two giant goosies with big blue ribbons and polka dots. I don't know if I can use this. I don't want them getting all scratched up because it does have this little hole so you might be able to hang it up. I can't decide though because they're just so cute. It could even just hang out on top of our countertop. Then I found these mini goosey I think they're saucers because there's a little dent in them. But what's really exciting about these is they're actually part of a set I am collecting. I have the large plate version of these and also the canisters. So now I have these. And I might not use them as saucers. I might use them as like a little dinner roll plate maybe. But I also found bowls, matching goosey bowls. Here they are out of the packaging. Look how cute. There's actually another set of these saucers, but they had like that weird insulation foam stuck on them. So I don't know if they were stored in someone's garage and got damaged maybe. Oh, and I also think I have the drinking glasses of this set. It's by Brick Oven Stoneware. 
and they're dishwasher safe, microwave safe, and oven to table. I really want to complete this set one day. I thought I was close. I thought now all I needed was the mugs, but I just looked it up and there are a salt and pepper shaker, there is a sugar bowl and a little creamer pitcher. There's all sorts, even little napkin rings. So I'm going to just have to keep an eye out. And hopefully one day I'll be able to thrift all of the goosies. But that is it for home decor. Now we can get on to this bag of clothes. And if you notice, there is an umbrella too. First, I think I will start with the umbrella because it is amazing. Oh my goodness. I almost left the thrift store without this, but I just felt like I needed to go look by the handbags. And I did. And this is what I found, this strawberry umbrella. It is so cute and very like Lolita. It says, have a nice day, but you won't believe this. My mom actually spotted this. It is, I don't know if you can see, Hello Kitty. The plastic is very worn out. That's the only thing wrong with this, but otherwise it is just the cutest umbrella ever. I know it's bad luck to open inside, but it does work. Oh, maybe that's why it's bad luck because it knocks your squishmallows around <laughs> but yeah it is such an adorable find one of my best definitely now onto the clothes let's start with the dresses because i only found one it is just this blue pastel blue denim dress from old navy super long i picked this up because i have a similar dress except it is shorter and then it has buttons down the front but the buttons always open. It is so annoying, but this one doesn't have any. It is a size small, so I'm a little nervous, but it is very stretchy. So hopefully it should fit cute and I am keeping for myself. Next, I think we'll get into the sweaters. First, we have this amazing pastel granny cardigan. It is so adorable. It does have, where is it? yeah a stain but if you remember that cat t-shirt that was stained and i didn't know what to do my mom is literally magic she was able to get the stain out so hopefully she can work some more of her mummy magic and fix up this sweater for me i do hope it fits me but if not it might go in the shop we will see in the try on but I just thought it was so cute and very springtime granny. Just so adorable and pastel. This one is by Susan Bristol Sweaters and it's a size medium. Next, another pastel piece. This is very shimmery. Hummingbird. I guess it's more of a t-shirt, but it is like a knit fabric. And it has cute embroidered hummingbirds. It's by Von Werf. Uh, one size, I guess. The size tag was cut out. But I just thought it was such a cute grandma core pastel spring piece. But this one is probably going on my shop. Next, we have a sweater I have been wanting for a while. Look how cute. So I've talked before about finding so many weird multiples of the same item in thrift stores. So I found pretty much the same sweater months ago, but it was way too small for me. So I didn't pick it up. Then when I thrifted this the same day was at another thrift store, found one, but it was super pilly on the inside. But then I finally found this one and it definitely looks big enough. There's no brand or size tag, so I can't tell you who it's by, but it is just so cute. And I'm glad finally found it in the right size. But of course, have to do the try on and see how cute it looks on and that'll determine whether or not I keep it. Hopefully this one's the keep. Now let's get on to the blouses. First, we have this amazing vintage blouse. It is very dolly. Look how cute the little lace is. It's by Panama Jill and it's a size small. So this definitely won't fit me. So this one is going on the shop, but it's just so cute. Next, this one's kind of fairy Y2K vibes. This brown cami with blue flowers and it ties in the back. 
I love blouses that tie in the back. This one, I don't know if you can see, it ties in the back too. But yeah, this is just a very cute fairy piece. This one is going on the shop. Then we have another fairy cami. This one is almost kind of gold colored and lace. It's by George. It's definitely plus size, but the size tag was cut out. George just has the cutest camis ever. Look how adorable. This piece does remind me of another that I sold. It had the same kind of fuzzy ribbon and lace and color. And it's the only time I've mixed up an order. It was so embarrassing, but I mixed up two orders. It was like a cream frilly blouse and the other was sort of like this cami. And then neither buyer wanted to return it. I, one of the buyers, just kind of cut me off completely. They were like, hey, I got the wrong item. I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry. Send it on back, I'll refund you, and then I'll work out with the other buyer how to get it back to you. And yeah, the first buyer just ghosted me completely. And then the second one was like, oh, I'll send it back when I can. Can I still send it back? Can I still send it back? And eventually they just ghosted me too, so it, they just kind of swapped orders. <laughs> Nothing really came of it. That was weird, but I guess it all worked out, huh? <laughs> but yeah, this one I am selling. Then we have something that is very my style, but not a color I would usually pick up. Oh, my camera's gonna act up. This. <laughs> it is a long sleeve top with a little bow. It's very coquette ballet core. Very cute. And I sold lots of shirts like this before, but never in black. So we'll see how it does. This one is going on the shop. It's by Secret Treasures and it is a size large. Next, we have this t-shirt. It's by Cactus. They do these adorable rhinestone graphic tees that are just the cutest. And it is a size medium. And this one is all Hawaiian theme. It is just so gorgeous but I think it is going on the shop as well. Then we have this adorable lace top. It's by Maurice's. It's very low cut. I don't know if you're supposed to wear maybe a cami underneath, but it is a size small. I do really hope this fits me because I like this sort of style, but most likely it is probably going on the shop. Next we have our one and only skirt. Oh no, it's, it's also black, so it's gonna mess up the camera but it is lacy sequin very whimsy goth dark fairy pixie vibes it's by pretty angel and it still has the tag it was $39 and it is a size medium and most likely it is also going on the shop we have lots that are just going on the shop today but now all we have left is lingerie i am so excited to show you i found so many cute pieces first we have this satiny nightgown with rose embroidery it's by heavenly bodies and it's a size medium i just love long nightgowns like this something so luxurious <laughs> but also kind of cute and granny but this one is going on the shop next we have this pretty simple cream nightgown but it has this pretty lace detail and little bow. It is quite sheer and it's quite long as well. I usually pick up slips that have a little more, I don't know, like a pink floral or something, but this really called to me. I'd love to keep it for myself because I don't really have a slip I can use for layering. We'll see if it fits or not. If not, going on the shop. Next, we have a slip skirt. Don't usually pick them up, but this one had this amazing hem. It would look so pretty layered under another skirt. It's by Luxite and it is a size medium. But yeah, super cute slip. Do not think it will fit me. It is also going on the shop. Next, oh no, another black, black and pink baby doll. It has really cute hot pink details and it's by Seductive Wear. It is a size large and it's sheer. Just a super cute piece and it has little bows too. So cute. This one is also going on the shop. Then we have 
a polka dot slip with pastel pink details. It is by, mm, I can't read it, but it is an extra large. But I just thought the polka dots were so cute. This one is also going on the shop. The pile just keeps getting bigger and bigger. <laughs> then we have a very Barbie, in my opinion, slip. So cute, it has lacy ribbon details, and of course, polka dots. It's by Rampage. And it is a size large. Also going on the shop though. Next we have this teal slip. Not usually a color I pick up, but it's by In Bloom. I love that brand. And it is a size medium. And it's all sheer mesh and super frilly. Just so cute. Also going on the shop. Then we have this blue floral slip. It's really interesting and it's also sheer mesh. This one is by Avon Intimates and it is a size large. It's very fairy. Also going on the shop. Now we have our final two slips which are definitely the cutest because they are pink. First we have this pink and cream slip that is satiny and very lacy and it has cute little bows it's by enchanting and it is a size large so cute if this fits i might keep this one for me final item and final slip i might have accidentally saved the best for last it is this sheer lacy slip and it has all these gorgeous floral designs it's by go softly and it's a size small but it is just so pretty and coquette and feminine i hope this fits me but if not going on the shop so now i have all of this to try on <laughs> what <laughs> Editing Angel, here is all I am keeping. I am only keeping the sweatshirt out of all the clothes. It is crazy. Hello. So that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. I am not sure what video is coming next. Might do another Sanrio haul. Haven't decided yet. We will see. But new videos every Saturday and also I post a vlog weekly, either on Thursday or Friday, depending on whether or not I have a lot of time to edit. Thank you so much for watching and commenting, liking, and subscribing. I love reading you guys' comments and they keep me motivated to keep posting for you guys. Do let me know if there's any content you want to see from me in the future and what your favorite item out of this haul was. Mine might be either the umbrella, but also the goosey ceramics that I am collecting. But I think that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!